Hi guys, my name is Raj. I'm one of the instructors from Junior Engineers down in Melbourne. I'm going to do a very quick tutorial on the Pythonista UI module. So this is something you can incorporate in some of your classes, um, provided the kids have the required prerequisite knowledge. Uh, today I'm going to be showing a very basic text-to-speech application where um, you type in some text into a little text box, press a button, and the iPad or Siri will uh, speak out whatever's in there. So, I'll go to the next slide. So, the prerequisites are for the kids to start building some of these applications are variables, if else statements, and functions. And these are an absolute minimum. So functions, I think, is the 10th or 11th chapter in the bronze booklet. And, and I guess the, the optional thing is if the kids know for loops and while loops, uh, they can build a bit more advanced applications. But I think with just variables, if else, and functions, that's a good enough to, to get started. So I'll switch into Pythonista. So the first thing you want to do is make a new folder. So I'll call it uh, Python UI app. And in here, I will add a new script with UI file. I'll call it text to speech app. So doing that, it creates two files. One is a UI file, and the other is the actual uh, Python script file. So I'm going to move over to the UI file, and I'll just play around with this. I'll maybe make it a little bit bigger, and make it 400 by 400, maybe. And then, so this um, plus on the top left corner, that little plus sign, so that's all of the um, uh, drop-in elements you can put into your app. So there's switches, buttons, labels, text areas, um, I think there's date pickers. So um, I'll just delete that. So yeah, you can play around with that. For today, I'll just add a custom view. This is just going to be the background. So I'll put that over there and I'll change the background color. And yeah, the kids can just play around with all of this and change their colors or um, change the text types or whatever they want to play around with. Um, like a really bad color. Maybe I'll do. Alright, that'll do for now. And then I need to add a text area. So I'll put that over here maybe, and I'll give that a background color of that, and maybe a border of this. This is probably not going to look good, but I guess that's not the point of this video. And then I'm also going to add a button. Okay. And the button is going to be called text to speech. Now, the important thing, there's two important things with the button. So the name, so that's kind of like you can think of as the ID. So whenever you want to refer to this button in your in your code, in your in your uh, in your Python file, script file, you got to use this. ID here, button one, and the next thing is the action, which is the function that gets executed when you press this button. So I'm going to make a new function. I'll call this text to speech. Okay, and maybe I will give this button a background color as well, um, maybe green, and a border of. I don't know, red. 
change that to four. And yeah, there's lots of other things you can play around with here. Um, the button size, the position, um, alpha, I don't know what that is. And yeah, so now let's go back to your Python file. If you press run, you get something like that. And you're obviously going to get an error saying could not find action. It's basically because we, we haven't defined this function called text to speech. So let's do that now. So define function, say text to speech. And we're going to pass in an argument called my interface. So this is this argument you can use to refer to your actual uh, user user interface uh, file. So just bear with me. So you, you make a variable called I'm just going to call it view selector equals my interface which is the argument that you passed dot super view and then we can use this to get elements um, from here by their ID so button uh, yeah so button one oh no we want to get text view one I'm just going to change this to text area one okay and then from here you do text from text box, just make a new variable equals view selector and you put some square brackets and in here you um, put the ID or the or you I guess you can call it the name of the element that you wanna capture so it's text area one and we want to get the text of that okay and then really simple the next thing we want to do is do speech dot say text from text box but we also need to import speech for this to work okay so now let's run this okay it's not working hmm yeah so I figured out why uh, that wasn't working before and it's because I'm using the laptops uh, internal. I'm using QuickTime Player to basically screen capture the iPad, and I'm using my laptop's internal mic. So I have to change the mic to the iPad mic, which just picks up internal iPad sounds, but it won't pick up my voice. So I'm going to cut from here and show you the application working from the iPad directly. Hello, junior engineers. Okay, so thanks for watching. So that was the first uh, Python to UI tutorial. So it was a fairly basic application. Um, I'll make a few more videos with some more uh, advanced and more fun applications using things like if else statements and also incorporating the console module. So there's a lot of other cool stuff you can do with Python is UI. Uh, you can have a look at the documentation. Um, if you just go on Google and type in yeah, Python is UI, uh, there should be quite a whole lot um, on the documentation. So yeah, as I said before, today's application was fairly basic, but you can use that same sort of logic to build more advanced and more cool applications. So yeah, I will make a few more videos, but for now, if there's any other questions, just feel free, feel free to email me uh, on that email there, and I should get back to you pretty soon. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching.